So, hi everyone, uh, my name is Plavin Dimitrov, I am from Bulgaria, from Gorno uh, I'll just say a couple of things about myself, my life, uh, the sport in my life, how it helped me, how it did not, but mostly it helped me. So I started training at uh, 15, 16 years old. I had uh, 67 kilograms, <laughs> the incredible 67 kilograms. I could do only one pull up or two with uh, many efforts. But then I started to training. I liked the sport, maybe like any other um, uh, person that is new for our sport, it began in high school. In high school, we were uh, arm wrestling at the uh, at every table we find. So I got really into this sport. I started looking for a club. I found one club in my city, and I started to train. Back then, I was in high school, so pretty much I was studying for. Uh, electrical engineering, power supply stuff, and um, sport was only a hobby for me. It continued as this many years. And uh, then I went to university. I continued to study electrical engineering, power supply, which is my job until today. So I do the sport only for hobby, uh, which I enjoy a lot. In my opinion, the best thing is about our sport is that we meet new people all around the world. We become friends. Maybe we are uh, enemies at the table, but after the competition, all of us gather, we have laugh, we drink, we eat together, and everything's very nice. I have been to many competitions, many uh, European World Championships during the years since 2009 until 2021 year and I have met really a lot of people and the interesting thing is that uh, all of the sportsmen give advice to each other for example if they see a mistake in me they can tell me if I see a mistake in them I can tell them as well we are like a big uh, how to say, um, big community that it's worldwide community and everyone knows everyone. I had, uh, once I had for 10 months, 13 competitions, it was uh, 2018. I will never forget because all my days off from work went only for competitions. So if I wanted to rest, I just had to be sick or something like this and uh, to have paper from uh, the doctor and to stay home for a couple of days. So pretty much no personal life back then. <laughs> and uh, I don't know what else to speak about, to be honest. Maybe if you want to, I can give some advice to someone or something sure, yeah, like this. Uh, you can give advice or you could say, uh, like give them advice on how to be consistent with arm wrestling. Okay. Enjoy the community and all that. So, <clears throat> when I started with the sport, I never thought that I will go this further with time, with uh, efforts, with everything. I just enjoy it. And, uh, I wanted to learn more and, and more and more, but uh, with, with everyone, I see every new athlete that arrives in the gym or uh, if someone looks after me for advice, I see that after a couple of trainings, when the arms start to sore, to hurt, and maybe 80% of them give up. So my advice is just to be consistent, to don't give up so fast, so easily, and to find someone near you that knows how to train and how to explain to you the sport better. 
our sport is very specific and uh, it takes a lot of time. It uh, takes a lot of efforts as well. And every person needs different time than other. You cannot say uh, for someone that you need one year and you will be number one or something like this. It's nonsense. Every person needs its, his own time. So with everyone is different. Also, my advice is if you see a competition, go. Doesn't matter uh, if you think you are weak, if you think that you will not do anything. It's just that the experience that you will gain is priceless. No one can give you this. Also, you get to meet new people, you will have new ideas. Also, you will see at what level you are. You can adjust and adjust and adjust and only to get better. There's nothing to lose, only to win in our sport. So what do you do for work? Like you climb towers? Uh, so for work, uh, I climb those uh, tall pillars that are from iron. Uh, in Bulgaria are from iron. They are around 30-40 meters different. We change isolators, we change... Uh, uh, sometimes we change the wires, it's uh, very various our work. It's a little bit of dangerous as well. I work on 110 kilovolts, 220 and 400 kilovolts systems. But it's also very interesting work. So do you think it helps your work? Like you're, you're somewhat active at your work, right? You climb towers, it's like pull-ups kind of. Uh, well, at work you must first use your brain. <laughs> because one mistake can cost your life and you need to think. Uh, it helps, uh, maybe my sport helps more my work than work to help my sport. <laughs> with me. So you must, you must have strong arms, strong psychic. Pretty much is this, yeah. So what's your confidence level going into uh, your match? My what? Your confidence, like how, do you, how are you feeling going into My your confidence match level? Tomorrow? Usually I don't uh, think too much about the competition. Because if I start to overthink, I can only be more nervous. I trained, now I rest a couple of days, and tomorrow is the competition. I will know how I will be exactly tomorrow when I start to compete. So there's, for me it's unnecessary to think too much, to, to be nervous or, or something like this. If I trained enough, it will show.